We are following breaking news this morning. Firefighters are in South Omaha where they just tackled a working house fire. Jody Baker joining us live from the area near 37th and G where there was an explosion heard at some point over the last 20 minutes. Good morning, Jody. We're at 37th and G where Omaha firefighters are dealing with their second house explosion in just three days time. Joining us now is Battalion Chief Troy Brandon to explain what just happened here this morning. Uh, what can you tell us? Uh, right before six o'clock, we were dispatched to a house fire um, around 42nd. We had some more calls come in, got a better address, and when we came on location, the first crew had realized that this was an explosion. Uh, the structure was actually not on fire. All the damage was caused by the natural gas. Uh, we were we kept everybody outside. We were able to remove the front porch slab, get right to the gas shut off, and turn the gas off, which stopped the fire. Okay, we're going to take a look at the scene right here um, back behind us. We can see extensive damage to the porch area. Um, you mentioned MUD shut off the gas immediately. That this is uh, indeed looks to be a Drop gas explosion. Yes. Uh, correct. We actually shut the gas off, and uh, that put the fire out. Um, no damage for, to the structure from the fire. It was just the explosion. And again, uh, nobody nobody inside at the time. This no, is vacant. Uh, nobody was inside, and we were able to verify that it was vacant. Uh, yeah. Just sent two guys in to do a, a search, and they they stayed along the middle beam where it was safe. Now the call just coming in just before six. You guys really got this under control uh, quickly, but it's a dangerous situation, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I was worried about uh, any of the guys going in, so we decided to keep everybody outside. Okay. Well, Captain uh, Brandon, Brandon, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, appreciate it. We're going to stay on the scene here and see what we can find out uh, from neighbors about just what happened here. But Jim Cerise, uh, obviously a, a tough situation for firefighters to deal with. Certainly uh, uh, scary. Jody Baker reporting live.